I'm John Nicholson with Synchronet, and this is a demonstration of Hitachi Storage Manager for VMware vCenter. Here we can see the plugin's been installed in our vCenter client in this case. The first step you'll want to do is add your arrays into the plugin. For that, we go to the admin panel and then add storage. The arrays that are supported are the AMS 2000 series, your 2100, your 2300, and your 2500 your USB V and VM, and your VSP series. You'll want to select your array, and then enter the controller IP addresses as well as the account authentication if you have that enabled. In this case, I've already added one of my lab machines. From here, you can see not only the array name, the serial number, and the existing microcode version, as well as any potential warnings as well as the capacity that is currently being used as well as what is available on the system. First view we're going to look at is the storage view. From here within each array we can then look at each host and see which LUNs have been presented and what are the data stores uh, that those LUNs have been um, formatted for. Uh, we also see the unique device identifier if we're doing any troubleshooting. The next view is the data store view. From here, we can click on a data store and not only see the LUN number, the uh, capacity and total available capacity, um, both on the backend system on the Hitachi, as well as the free capacity uh, that exists within VMware to see the total utilization and possibly compare that maybe against the dynamic provisioning uh, capacity that's available for doing reclaims. You can also see the RAID levels, which also um, Hitachi dynamic provisioning pool um, that it has been committed for. In this case, I see that pool 0, uh, which is a RAID 6, um, is the one that both of these LUNs have been committed for. And if you select each one, you'll see which VMs and which paths to which hosts are available for that data store. In this case, I only have a single data store hosting a single VM with a single path uh, in my lab here today, but uh, in your environment, you will likely have um, you know, four or more paths uh, from each LUN to the, the data store. The next view is the virtual machine view. And this allows you to have your you'll have your full list of virtual machines that are sitting on your Hitachi storage in this case, um, and you'll be able to select each one and see specifically uh, which one that it's sitting on. Lastly, you can actually provision data stores in here. From here, you'll want to select which hosts in your cluster that you want to configure a LUN for and a data store for. We'll need to enter the credentials for your array. After you do this, it'll show your available pools. In this case, I have a single Hitachi Dynamic Provisioning Pool. And we'll set it, say, for a 500 gigabyte LUN. After you do that, we'll need to select which paths, or which host groups in this case. And we'll set on a name. Now, if you're using vSphere three or four, um, block size is still an option. For those of us who've upgraded to vSphere 5, one megabyte is your only block size that's available um, with, for VMware. Then you get one last chance to preview before you go ahead. And if you actually go through with this, it will config, it will create a LUN, configure it, add it to the host group, and format it with VMFS and name it to the data store and add it to the available hosts. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Hitachi Storage Manager for VMware vCenter. For those of you interested in this plugin, um, please contact us, uh, ask for John. Uh, please, with any questions or comments you have, post them in the comments section below. We'll be doing some more videos uh, in relation, hopefully, here to Hitachi and, and also to VMware. And if you have any suggestions, uh, please post those in the comments section below. Thank you.